Welcome back. We're back on Mist Island, having delivered the third red and blue pages. I haven't really looked at the ceiling area yet. Another magic candle set that are somehow burning um, in the chandelier there. Our next stop is going to be the Selenitic Age. Which we know is an interesting place, and I'm very curious to see how the uh, maze is going to work in VR. Got some uh, steam-based, or geothermal-based power, I guess. And a bunch of text that has decayed. But we should remember that three meters is not enough support for the beams. That's the rocket. And the song. Is that different than the original? I don't know if this would have been randomized or not. Doesn't, I don't think it's the same. Either way, we're taking a picture. Because it's not like I remember, like this doesn't, I don't know, I feel like it's different. I'm sure somebody will tell me. There's the map. There is actually an option, I think, in the menu to have these books automatically go back to where you picked them up rather than dropping and having the delay. I wish there was a way to, you know, close the book and properly put it back. But, yeah, no. Good luck with that. Yeah, the spine of this book is not great because it just folded the wrong way. Yeah, this, this book case... Survived very unscathed, I have to say, with uh, the burning of the books. It feels like these books were burnt somewhere else, then returned here. Which is a bit weird. Um, Alright, we need the tower, obviously. Pointing at the spaceship. We'll be heading up there to check our clue. Uh, we're now facing entirely the, an entirely different way with the tower, so I don't know where the ladder is going to be over on that side, I guess. Still don't want to turn too much by myself because. I'm still sitting down, so I'm going to get the cable tangles on my chair if I do that. Um, oh, I still have the... I think I probably want to turn that off, actually. Uh, quick travel on ladders. I needed it in stone ship, but it is a little bit uh, immersion breaking. There we go, the uh, flat picture of a spaceship. How far can I go before it? You can't tell, obviously. I mean, you can tell the waves aren't moving, so it's clearly not real, but you can tell that there's no dimensionality to the image outside, um, which I can. Which is a shame. 
I mean, it couldn't have been that hard to keep Miss Island lo loaded together with this room. Just make it separate from the the bottom, I guess. From the 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 passage that leads here. Maybe a limitation on the quest. I can stand here, right? Sure. But on PC, that really could have been done better. There, now we get to awkwardly clamber down the ladder the old-fashioned way. Anyway, we knew where the book was. This is why we are coming here. 54 volts. That is definitely different from the original, as all the clues have been. So we will have to see um, how to achieve that. It's interesting, I'd only just now noticed that actually the clues are on a separate wall, which I'm guessing does not rotate with the rest of the tower. So that this whole thing rotates and it reveals different plaques on the outside wall. And we can't really peek over there. No, I can't. That's clever and explains how that works. Um, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep, I did. Alright, let's head back down. Open the door again, of course. Okay, well, we know where to go. It seems Mist does not have a day-night cycle anymore. It doesn't look like any of the Aegers have day-night cycles. That's kind of a shame, honestly. They just have moving clouds but the weather also doesn't change at least it didn't in stone ship I'm assuming it will not here either would have been nice to see this at night the way you can in real mist it's kind of a bad name for it now because this is the one I can play in VR this is way more real than real mist could ever be All right, we need to go down here. This looks pretty much the same as it did in the original. Oh, we're going quite far underground. Why dig down so deep? Unless this was a natural cave, which is possible, I guess. I'm very close to that door. It's fine, it just scraped my knees off. Um, Alright, so... There's the generators. Those are pretty big. Ah, well at least we have some fresh air over here. That's good. Not spinning very fast, but good enough, I guess. Power, power to ship, generator switches. We know how this works. And if I do it wrong, I have to reset the breaker, which will almost certainly happen, considering I will need to uh, figure out how to do 54 volts, and I don't, so like I remember. Which button does what? Um, it was 54, right? Oh. Um, I just hit a button by re accidentally resetting my height. I meant to go into the menu, which as usual is playing hide and seek. 
uncheck the photo album to remind myself that it is indeed 54 volts. Um, okay, that's just scrolling now. Okay. All right, 54 is what we need to get to. That gives me five. 14, so that's nine. Thirty, so that's sixteen. That's a big increase. I saw a lightning flash over there somewhere. What happens when you turn it on? Forty-nine. That's nineteen. Are they just all gonna keep increasing? No. All right, we uh, we tripped the breaker, which I knew was gonna happen. But we're at fifty-seven now. Turn off this really big one because it's kind of actually that takes us to 52. That's way too high. 59. 50. 55. That one's really big. I mean, obviously, you can write this out and do this to easy... But that one's only two. That one's only one, so that's a good one to use. 61. That was two, right? Yes, 54 volts going, being generated, not going to the, all right, I'm having some tracking issues. Um, happens rarely, where my headset loses tracking and then I just start floating around. Um, anyway, yeah, so 54 volts being generated, not going to the spaceship because we tripped the breaker. Wait, I can close the door from in here. Well, that's pointless, but it's possible. I'm assuming, yeah, that door does close automatically if you get far enough away. Which I guess I could not do inside. Um, all right, so we got to reset the breaker. I forget if you need to reset both of them, or if it's just the one. I think it's just the one, right? It is this one, anyway. Now we can get to the water here. Or, oh, we can't quite get to the water. Can't see the the uh, clock tower from here and some nice flowers all right gotta climb this ladder Um, okay, I don't, I guess that did something. I hope that did something. <laughs> Alright, um, actually, oh, I'm on the floor. That's good. So 
We're going to go over here. I don't remember if he needs to do the other one. He probably do. We're about to find out, I guess. Go over there. Yeah, I guess we do. Um, oh, I can't jump down, apparently. I'll have to go around. And climb this ladder. There we go. I guess they... Oh, journeyman electrician. Wow, I'm already a journeyman? Didn't realize that electrician union's um, requirements were so lax. All you have to do is be able to reset a breaker to become an electrician. I guess it only applies to the um, electricians on mist, though. There we go. And here's the piano. Uh, that was a bit close. All right. I feel like I'm too high. It is the height I'm supposed to be, apparently. Uh, My knees are in the way. It's the downside of doing this sitting, I guess. Well, on the plus side, we can hit a lot more notes at once than on the original. It's called back to my old Let's Play. Mary had a little lamb where the lamb dies at the end. Uh, <clears throat> ah, I can't really do a... Doesn't work. That's a shame. It's a bit fiddly. As a lot of the controls in this game are. Okay, I promise I won't spend an hour uh, messing about with the keyboard. As uh, fun that would be to do. Okay, now this is going to be interesting because I... Um, it's not like I can look at the photo at the same time as I am looking at the keyboard. Alright, um... It's mostly black keys, and this is also very helpful that you can see this. If I, if I, remind, if I can remember, I might uh, edit this into the corner or something. So it's... Um, Alright, so it's B... D sharp... No, that's the three one, third one. Sorry, this is, picture is also not very big. So it's B, um, F sharp, D sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, F sharp, D sharp, G sharp, A sharp. Okay. Let's see if I can remember that. So we've got B, F sharp, D sharp, A sharp, F G sharp, A sharp, yeah.
Yeah, that's definitely different than the original. Because I remember what that sounds like. Alright, now we need to duplicate that. Starting with the B. Actually, it doesn't tell me if I... Huh. Does it have the same amount of keys? I didn't actually pay attention to what octave we're supposed to be in. Come on, menu, work. Um, yeah, I mean, the, that's the right octave. Okay, so... It's my favorite song. Um... That's where we're starting. Oh, are these notches matching the keys? That would make things a heck of a lot easier. Because on the left we have white and then the three black ones immediately. Um, so that would make this white, those are the three black ones, two whites, two black, two whites, three black, which um, means that's B, right? Because it's right after the three black ones, yeah, that one. All right, that's good, that's accessible for people who are um, hearing impaired or tone deaf, so I am in full favor of this change. Uh, yeah, alright, that's where we need to be. And it means I don't need to go back and forth either, because we need to go to the bottom of these three black keys, then that black key, switch hands so it makes this easier, then it's that black key, and that black key. That should be it, unless I'm mistaken. And I'm not! Achievement, perfect pitch, except you don't need perfect pitch anymore to do this, thanks to this change. Also, it's not a monitor anymore, it's an actual linking book, so at least we got rid of the magic bit of linking through a picture of a linking book, rather than an actual linking book. So that's another good change. I, I really like this. I like that they did this, because, yeah, all you need to do is notice that there's notches on either side matching the keys, so the white keys are on the left and the black keys are on the right. And then you can just count it out, which makes this so much better. Like, 100% agree with that change. This definitely looks like a crystal from Spire, even though uh, we uh, are going to Selenitic, not Spire. It's very foggy. I guess the original was too. All right, let's go. And I do like that they did randomize the the tune as well. I didn't wasn't sure if they were going to do that because it would require altering the last page of the journal rather than just changing a number somewhere. But I guess they did. And we're here. We're there's still a piano, or organ. It's not really a piano, I guess. I guess it's an electric organ, as in you don't need to manually pump air through the pipes. It's not electric, as in a synthesizer. Um, Alright. 
This is very... Whoa. Did you see? I mean, I guess that makes sense, considering the description of uh, meteors here. I was not expecting that. That's cool. It's very blue, though. It's um, a lot bluer than the original, which I think was more reddish. I like it, though. It's uh, very distinct. And I got these uh, god rays coming down through this cloud layer. It looks very, very cool. Alright, I keep just wanting to look at the uh, meteors. This is very nice. Wait, why is there... What's this for? The answer is nothing. I guess it's just the shape of the base. Was it like that in Mist 2? I don't recall as of just now. Alright. I always liked Selenetic. It's just such a weird looking place. It is kind of hard to navigate in the original, but you know, so is everything in the original. My height good? Yes. Gotta check. Um, that's giving a weird effect. <laughs> All right. Well, since um. Our music code was random. I'm assuming that this is two. Not that I have any way of remembering what the, it was originally. These sounds all look pretty... Similar. Yes, these seem to be the original sounds. Which is nice. That's not a button. That's a speaker. That makes perfect sense. Um, where are we going? I guess we're going up here. This is where um, I'm assuming Blue Pages. It's where it was originally. The little oasis in this uh, wasteland. The um, haven, if you will. I still do not know if that is a coincidence that, you know, the locations of the pages in this age kind of matches the theme of the prison ages in Mist 4 for both of the brothers. I was trying to see if I can get a good look at the lava from here. I can kind of see it, I guess. It would be pretty warm, that's for sure. I'll be able to see it much better from over there, of course, but... I just wanted to try. Seems pretty windy over here. That too seems to be a theme with uh, a lot of these ages. But as in the original, it is too misty to really see much of the crater lake. You can see the tower over there. And the shape of Selenitic is very reminiscent of the shape of... Uh, um, Arane in Uru. 
Too bad we can't go for a swim here and find out the whole place was faked by Kadish. A little stream of water coming down the side there. Very nice. I guess this is a natural spring that Atris built a well around. Kind of reminds me of how in uh, Abduction they don't really know where the water's coming from, it just comes up. Seems very similar. And this is as far as I can go. I think I can actually go behind the whole thing. And we can see, of course, the uh, microphone that's recording the sound of this pool. And then the big dish that's transmitting it. What Aters actually attempted to do with that, I don't know. Just playing around with sound transmission, I guess. And yes, we found the blue page. And we've turned on this transmitter, which of course we need to do to be able to solve the puzzle. The sounds are going to be the same. I'm guessing the directions may not be, although maybe they just relocated north, or kind of like they did with the telescope in Stone Ship. Well, I can kind of get under here. And an interesting view of this bridge and this tree for some value of interesting your mileage may vary which would mean like the offsets of each sound would still be the same if they just moved the zero location but yeah, like, it's not like I remember those. I have not actually played Mist since I recorded my Let's Play, which was um, a long time ago. Oh, another meteor shower going on. And here's our receiver tower. Anchored into the ground quite securely in the middle of the lake created by the crater. Although it's connected to the sea, so does it really qualify as a lake? I don't know. I also don't know if this is fresh water or salt water. Because with all this fog, who knows? We could just be in the middle of an even bigger lake. All right. Um, hmm. I guess this is so you can easily look down and see that there's lava. This looks really cool, I have to say. With the depth effect of VR and the uh, heat waves distorting it. Um, something tells me we do not want to fall down here. Fortunately, we can't, so. I guess I have to put that there for non-VR players, because, um, well, I mean, I can just do this, but... If you're on keyboard and mouse, I'm betting you can't. I have a strong urge to lead my hands here, but I can't, because it's not actually there. It's funny how easily tricked your brain is. Turn that on. Or maybe it's just my brain. Alright, there's the clock. It's um, 10.05 apparently. 04. I'm guessing that's not going to change. I guess we're... Considering the pendulum is... Um, 
kind of broken. I guess we shall be lucky that this is even moving at all. Or even make so making sound at least, because otherwise um, this part of the puzzle would be really hard. The microphone right in front of the clock face there. I'm assuming... Um, I'm just going over here to see if I can. I can, but not up here. I am assuming that Atris had help building all the stuff in this age, especially the Maze Runner. Which is the nice thing about the original Mist. Because you can assume that people had help. Because he did go to other ages. He did go to ages that had civilizations in them. We know that both from like mentions of people in the journals here, but also from stuff mentioned in like the Book of Atres and other sources. So we know that he, in fact, could have had help. Which is why I'm willing to give him a pass on being able to build all this stuff. Whereas I am not quite so lenient on Cirrus in Mist 4. Because we know he didn't have help. And yeah, he had 20 years. But that's still pretty remarkable. To do all of the stuff we see there by yourself, with no help, with no tools other than what he could fashion and may have brought with him on his first time linking through. And still to this day, I get comments on my Mist 4 videos um, a, saying that I'm complaining too much, which I agree with. Mist 4 is probably one of my least favorite Mist Let's Plays that I've done. This place is pretty. Just because, yeah, the pacing wasn't very good, and I do spend most of uh, Spire griping. Nowadays, I try to leave most of my griping to the end of the game, I like my review and rather than having it intrude on the gameplay, which in, I did not do. Spire still bothers me a lot. So yeah, it's uh, that's one of the reasons why I did that there. I'm just looking at stuff because it's, it's very pretty. You can actually kind of see the texture of the ice inside. You can maybe see if I move so that there's a parallax effect. I'm assuming this is ice. I mean, it looks like it's ice. It could be some kind of crystal. Probably is, considering it doesn't look that cold here. But yeah, of course, in VR I can see the... Hey, I want to touch it and feel if it's cold or not. I can see the, the depth inside the uh, crystal, ice, whatever it may be. Which is pretty cool. But yeah, still to this day I get comments saying like... Oh, he could have brought a lot of stuff with him the first time, or, um, which A is kind of ignoring that he wouldn't have expected to be trapped there, and also kind of ignores that you can't bring that much, only what you can carry. I mean, I guess he could have had a backpack with tools and maybe some firewood or something. Sure, I'll buy that. But considering he would have expected to just find a linking book back to Mist right there, just would have been nice if the game explained that he did that, and why. <laughs> Just to... Um, because that's ultimately the real issue with Mist 4. It's not that all of this stuff is so impossible. It's that the game doesn't try to justify it. If there was just some mention in the journals of like, hey, this is how I did this. I brought some tools with me, and I was able to find a place to get metal and a convenient place to smelt it or whatever. Just, you know, kind of hand wave the explanation, but give me an indication that the designers paid attention to it, that they knew, and at least tried to give an explanation. I would have been much more okay with it. Because as it is right now, you can come up with an explanation. But, um, it's up to you. 
and it shouldn't be. It should be something the game tells you, that, it, or at least shows you that the designers thought about it, and that's the problem I have with it. Not that you um, can think of a way that he might have done it, it's just that the designers were too lazy to, to think this through. Or at least too lazy to write an explanation into a journal somewhere. And the whole game just, especially, well, Spire, Haven is a lot better, as I think I also pointed out, but especially Spire just doesn't give me the, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I wanted to reset my height. Not take a picture. Um, it just gives me the impression that the designers didn't pay attention, and, the, you know, coming from, especially... The Cyan-made Mist games, especially Riven and Uru, they pay so much attention to those kinds of details. And that's just, you know, what I want and expect in a Mist game, and the Mist 4 just fails. And it doesn't matter to me that you have your own headcanon explanation as to how all of this happened, and it makes perfect sense to you. It's not going to work for me. Because I want to feel that, you know, this world is real, and the designers treated it like it's real. And I just don't get that from Spire. Anyway, I think I've spent enough time talking about that now. But yeah, I do wish that I would have left those criticisms for at least one spot instead of constantly talking about them. Um, yeah, there was a jetty here wonder if there is more land out there that could be reached by a boat. I forget if the journal mentions that. And the um, last sound is the wind coming through this here tunnel or something. Yeah, that's my, my, probably my least favorite Let's Play overall in terms of the pacing and standing around talking too much. Um, the other one in which that happened was uh, Dreamfall, where I do have a few moments, especially in the beginning, where I just, you know, stand around and explain backstory rather than, uh, it's pretty deep. Rather than actually play the game, and I tend to try, and I know I don't always succeed, but I tend to try to spread stuff out a little bit more. There's a, there's a light here, isn't there? Yeah. There we go. That's a lot better. Um, which way am I facing? Just in my room. Um... So yeah, I try not to info dump as much anymore, and Dreamfall I did that quite a lot in. There's one part of Dreamfall where that was kind of unintentional, and definitely something I wouldn't have done today, is where I get to the catacombs, my favorite place in the game, if you remember, where I then spent... Oh, why am I falling? Uh, that shouldn't be happening. Where I then spent a good... You know, ten minutes almost <laughs> talking about how much I hate the catacombs before then continuing to do them in the next video. Um, because uh, the reason I did that was because I forgot my notes. Like, I didn't take out the, the notes I needed with the map of the catacombs, and I wasn't about to do them without having the map and the solution ready. So I basically just stalled until the end of the video, <laughs> so I could get my notes for the next one. I would definitely not have done that this way, <laughs> that way, if I did that Let's Play now. I would have either tried to edit the video together, 
or I would have just been honest and say like, hey, okay, I'm going to fade the black and come back because I need to get my notes. Or I would have just re redone that whole video, especially back then since my videos were only 10 to 15 minutes long. That would have been an option. But hey, live and learn. All right. There we are. So, yeah, this is not um, telling us anything. And now we just need to find each um, sound. I'm assuming I can see this move. Yes, yes, I can. There it goes. Uh... That's the wind one. Oh, there's the black lines are the cables, yeah. So that will be the clock. There's our spaceship. And here's where the water is. Nope, it's the next one over. Um, this used to say, like, exact degrees, didn't it? Kind of confusing that I can still actually hear the wind, just from the tunnel, I guess, or the fact that it's just windy. I kind of screwed myself over here. Um goes over the actual sound. So yeah, this used to have like precise, like up to a tenth of a degree, I think, adjustment. But I think they made this a lot more forgiving by not doing that. Which one's that? It's that. The top, second one from the top. So that should be facing, um, oh, basically behind me. So I should be getting close now. That's kind of nice. Gives you extra help. There we go. That's the clock, which is going to be to the left of that there. I just love it. I don't know how far I have to look up for you to be able to see it, because your field of view is not entirely the same as mine. That's too far. There we go. Perfect reception. Um, that one's close. And finally, um, that one needs to go over there, so left, I know. Right. Oh, wait, I'm pointing it at the... That's the lava, not the... Um... There, that's the wind. Little visual indicator is also nice. So water, clock, wind, spire, lava. This is fun, I can't take a picture of this. Nor can I write it down. So I'm going to have to rely on my memory here. Water, clock, wind, spire, lava. Water, clock, 
wind spire lava water clock wind spire lava water clock wind spire lava I had better not forget that you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually create a save here um, so I don't have to go back in case that does happen water clock wind spire lava Water, clock, wind, spire, lava. That's just what I'm going to be saying the whole time. Going over there. Water, clock, wind, spire, lava. And looking back at the video, you'll be able to tell exactly when I start saying the wrong thing. Water, clock, wind, spire, lava. I turned the light off here. Water, clock, wind, spire, lava. 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 This is the most exciting commentary I, I have ever given. If what you're excited about is water, clock, wind, spire, and lava. All right, I think I'm high. Nope, I need to go fire further. Really? Okay, I'm good. Water clock, wind, spire, lava. I don't want to say too much else either because it's going to distract me. Water, clock, wind, spire, lava. I feel like I'm going to be able to remember this a week from now. Water, clock, wind, spire, lava. Water. Clock. It's funny how there's like, you know, uh, sounds here that aren't even in the age. Like, where's the train whistle coming from? Okay, water clock, wind, spire, lava. So, wind. Wind. Spire, I think. Whoa. Spire. Stay there. And lava. Water. Lock. Wind. Spire. Lava. Well, that's wrong. Water. Oh, this is not the clock. It kind of sounded like the clock. That's the clock. Okay, it's not easy to recognize at first. There we go. At least I remembered it. I just didn't do it properly the first time because the clock sound starts with a static buzz that does not sound like the clock. All right, um, this looks very steep and very high. So, watch your step. But on the plus side, it has handrails. Which, you know, has more than can be said for, like, some of the ages in Mist 3. I think this is my favorite age so far in terms of atmosphere in this version of the game. It just, everything looks cool. There's water here. 
And it's dripping. And on the plus side, I haven't had any weird glitches yet. Knock on wood. Oh, now the other big question. Can I remember <laughs> sounds from Mechanical? Which was a week ago. I think I can. I think I'll recognize them. And I know north is the ping and south is the cowbell. And... I think east is the, west is the real sprawling and east is the remaining one. If I'm wrong, we'll find out soon enough. Oh, this is cool looking. This is really cool looking. Um, wait. You can actually walk around it. I want to do that, of course. How far down does that go? I cannot see. In the words of Miller from The Expanse, how long would I fall? Probably the rest of my life. Okay, technically the first part of that was Holden talking, but... Um, Besides the point. And this is the back of the Maze Runner. It's pretty much the same as the front. Just pointing the other way. And there's no door. Still, nice that they let you. Alright, this is not as twiddly as the uh, paths on uh, Stone Ship were. To teleport, so... That gives me some hope for Channel Wood. Alright, again, much bigger than I thought it was. These buttons are pretty huge, too. It's like, why... Have you ever seen a light switch or door button, whatever, elevator button that's this big? It's like the size of my hand. Um, okay, this is, uh, it's a good thing I'm not any taller. Okay, that's because my player height was not right. Okay, it's not quite as cramped as, um, it seemed to be. Do you need to close the door to make this work? I don't remember, but let's do it anyway. All right. Um, no sound here. And we have levers instead of the uh, original um, buttons saying forward and reverse. There's no backtrack either then, is there? That's, uh, unless going reverse is just backtracking and not actual reverse. How do I go down? By going up, obviously. Going forward, I guess. Did they randomize the maze? Since this is real-time 3D, I guess they could have. Well, sound doesn't play automatically. You have to push the button. At least I didn't hear it play when we came down, which I think it does in the original. And we have to go north, which is indeed where you have to go originally in the uh, first, the original version. So... I guess, I'm guessing that hasn't changed. I don't think you can actually... You can, 
randomizing the maze would be pretty hard to and still have the layout actually make sense unless they just made like 10 different layouts and randomly pick between one of them actually randomizing it you'd get in a situation where like this physically isn't possible Yeah, there's no other way we can go from here. Um, there was an article a while back where Rand Miller actually talked about this puzzle and said it was his favorite puzzle in uh, in Mist. That's east, I think. Let's verify that by checking we can't go west. Which is right. Because it is! Like, I, I kind of agree. It's just so fiendish that you have this age that's all about sound, and for some reason when you get here, people just forget that that was a thing. And it's, it's like, when you learn that this is what you were supposed to be paying attention to, it just has a really big, um, of like, oh, moment. So yeah, and that's south. Is this random? I feel like you had to go north twice in the beginning. Maybe it is random. Because now we went northeast-south. I'd be okay with that. Although that does make me wonder if the layout of the maze is still suitable for learning the sounds on your own. Although I guess this, this beginning is. If you did not get them from mechanical. Which I demonstrated in the original Let's Play that it totally is possible to do. And we're going north again. One of the big improvements in... Uh, both Real Mist and this uh, version is how much faster this is. It feels pretty nice and natural having to do this with the levers and the, being able to see where you're going pretty clearly. And the field of view is small enough that this does not give me uh, motion sickness. That article where oh, we're keep we're still going south, where uh, Rant talked about the, uh, this being his favorite puzzle, actually. Um, that's West. Actually linked to one of my videos. Uh, my video of, of my... of this, obviously. In the original Let's Play. Which is a big spike in my viewership. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't really translate into uh, more subscribers. We're still going West. I'm happy I only have to do this once, because we have both pages. And we're going south. Still haven't had any combined sounds yet. Are we just not doing that? This puzzle is still very... Uh, uh, unfair for the audio impaired. Oh, we're still going south. Because they're, well, I mean, other than mapping the whole maze, there's literally no way to solve this if you can't hear the sounds. Ah, there we go. That is, um, southwest. And I don't really know how else they could have done that. Maybe have, um... 
some light that isn't obviously the direction and had tied that to the simulator as well. But I feel like that would make the puzzle too easy to have two clues. I could have gone the other way, that would have been easier. So that's a tough one, how to make this more accessible without ruining the puzzle. Or maybe have an option in the, in the settings that turns this into a visual puzzle. Um, that's West again. For all I know, that option exists. It's not like I didn't pay, like I really paid attention to all of the options. Or memorized them. That's Southwest again, I think. This feels longer than it was, but I could be wrong. Um, I guess we keep going southwest. Never lost. It's an achievement, apparently. I don't know if these achievements are showing up in the recording. They, I can see them pop up. Um, it's apparently, I guess that's an achievement if you never take a wrong turn in the maze. Which, of course, is easy to do if you already know about the sounds. And I think we have arrived. It doesn't show me the description of the achievement, so I don't know if that's actually what it is, but I imagine that's what's happening. So, oh, this layout does feel different. So I'm wondering if you were to map all of this, if it uh, is still the same where actually the, the ending of the maze is right next to the start. Which is what the way it is in the original. Go over here. We can go over here. It's just very dark. And there's no way to turn this around here, so I guess you have to go backwards, at least the first part. Fortunately, the maze runner is nice enough to reset. Oh, that's interesting. Is this underneath the spire location? I mean, that is sort of close to the start of the maze, so that would make sense. Because these are definitely the same crystals. Or the same kind of crystals. They don't actually have to be the same crystals. Quick, somebody go and match the angles of this to stuff we see sticking out outside. I'm not going to. <laughs> Somebody might just do that. Wouldn't be, it wouldn't surprise me with the fan base missed as. Um, sure. Put your linking book over lava. There, there's no way that can go wrong. This looks really cool. Of the reflections in the crystals. Oh, I want to go here in 2D mode and see what ray tracing adds. Although, it's going to be tough to be actually seeing this in 3D. Basically, what I'm telling you here is if you have uh, a VR headset, get this game. Yeah, it's glitchy. Yeah, the graphics aren't uh, the best I've ever seen. But it's so worth it just to see this in VR. The, this game is on Xbox Game Pass. Even the PC version is on Xbox Game Pass for PC. But um, I don't believe that... Um, I feel like the rest of this is just an image. Because it doesn't feel as, as like it has that much depth. Um, like the... But the the version on Xbox Game Pass, unfortunately, does not have VR support, so you do have to buy it from Steam. I think maybe the GOG version, too. Um, or Oculus, obviously, if you have a Quest. It's totally worth it. 
I don't know how good the version of the quest looks, but this is satisfying enough for me. All right, let's head back to Mist. Get another achievement, Selenitic. You know what I said earlier? I didn't see the achievement for um, for Stoneship. The reason why is I think they are showing up in the forward direction, regardless of where I'm facing. So when I was still recording with my normal mic, which required me to face that way, I would not see those. All right, let's deliver some pages. Oh, I forget, I have to open the book. That would help. Each page I see you more clearly. Soon I will be free from this hard prison book. You must visit the one remaining age which you have not I am confident. I mean, not that long ago. It's like 10 years. Um, except, of course, we won't be. Let's check in with the crazy brother. I mean, they're both crazy, but... The even crazier brother. Now, my friend. Thank you for bringing the blue pages. Convinced that Cirrus is guilty. Do not release him. Well, destroy me. Just. Bystander have been wrongfully tricked into imprisonment. Confident you have observed his unbridled lustful riches. Four remaining worlds. Some plot was almost perfect. Blow to father. He tricked him into believing that it was I. Who was the murderer? I did not murder father. Bring me the remaining blue pages, please. A liar. A fool and a liar. Be free for them. <laughs> Age of mist, I must be freed. He must free me. I cannot bear it here for eternity. Free me. All right. Same old story, they're just accusing each other. 
I think there's actually already people who've made a patch, at least for PC version, that um, put the original videos back in, which, you know, are very low resolution, but almost can't be worse than this. That's honestly the biggest misstep in this game. I mean, the 3D models wouldn't have been too bad if they just didn't look so awful, but they do. They do look quite awful, which is a shame, considering I really do enjoy the experience otherwise. We have one more age left, since, you know, Rhyme isn't in this version yet, which is uh, Channel Wood, and we'll go there in the next video.